I'm gonna tell you the best playmaking badges. I'm gonna tell you how the best playmaking badges work. I'm gonna tell you which badges to use based on your play style. I'm gonna tell you how to prioritize your badges. I'm gonna show you the badges I use. And lastly, the badges not to use. If you listen to me in this video and equip the best badges in this game, you will become a better player that is a guarantee if you need your badges grinded or are looking to buy or sell an account make sure you hit up goat plugs the link is in the description a must-have playmaking badge for every guard build is quick first step you need this to get open like this i don't even know what else to say put on quick first step this is the first badge you should always put on if you are a guard the next badge that is a must for all guards is hyperdrive i did not even think it was good until one of my boys put me on how i originally thought it worked was it was just on threes when you were running up the court but it actually works on iso like how i do so i only iso and it still takes effect still pops up when you're just running to the basket and we know rim running is so overpowered so you definitely want to put on hyperdrive this is a must have along with quick first step so to be honest those are like your two meta must have badges pretty much everything else is up in the air and i already know you guys are confused because i left out literally every other badge except two so let's talk about one that right now in the 2k community is controversial as heck which is unpluckable i currently do not run it now let me explain why and you guys might know exactly what i'm talking about if you're gonna get ripped and steals are op this is a iso lockdown build so trust me i know that steals are op and this build video will be in the description i will link it for you guys but anyway steals are op right and it's like the game is gonna give you a steal or it's not so you're gonna get ripped or it's not in my experience from using unpluckable pretty much all year except the past week it doesn't in my opinion it doesn't really make a difference it's either i'm gonna get ripped or i'm not and i play in the stage so you know where it's just locks so unpluckable right now i am not using it if you have the extra badge points and you want to put it on just because go ahead so what badge am i using instead of unpluckable i am using clamp breaker this is a very good build 2k lab did i mean a very good build bro come on dirky dirk this is a very good badge 2k lab did a, a video on it it breaks the clamp like pickup uh stoppage animation i i don't know what it's called but yeah it really helps you get to the basket and rim running we love to do it i love to do it this is so good for just breaking those clamps that's why it's called clamp breaker and getting to the rim i definitely would equip this badge to be honest you really have like one last must-have badge and it's gonna surprise a lot of you and there's some badges that i already know that i'm leaving out and you guys are gonna ask why i will explain why i don't think they are must-have badges so here we go the last must-have badge in my opinion is needle threader just on bronze you know put it on silver or higher if you have enough badge points but you gotta at least have it on bronze just to avoid as little lane steals as possible as you guys know as i already said steals are very op put on needles rather at least on bronze so i lied a little bit if you have enough badge points okay or depending on your play style let's say you don't like to rim run at all and in tier three most of the time well for my builds it's clamp breaker handles for days killer combos and unpluggable right so say you don't want to run to the rim a lot like me say you're like a threes small guard just like you know shoots you, you know okay got it got it got it you're not gonna put on unpluckable it's hard to get ripped as a small guard either way so you're gonna put on handles for days so if you're a small guard that is a must-have badge so i'm sorry i lied a little bit whatever handles for days helps you dribble you know long like you lose your your stamina slower when dribbling common sense speaks for itself i have 96 stamina on my isolock build again link to that is in the description so i don't really run out of energy when i'm dribbling so it's not a must have for me at all and i don't have enough badge points and would prefer clamp breaker it's personal preference 
and based on your build slash play style. The next badge, NBA 2K Tuts, T-U-T-E-S. Shout out to him, posts great content. Confirmed that killer combos actually sucks and does nothing. Go watch this video. It literally does absolutely nothing. It all it will, it does, it does a little something. All it does is it makes it easier to chain your drill moves together. But if you're a good dribbler, then there really is no point. Pretty much how he was explaining is each dribble move, every combo when you chain them has like a green window almost to where it has to be timed and pretty much it expands your timing if that makes sense. I don't think there's any need for it. I don't use it. And as you can see, I'm a very good dribbler. Here's my badge setup. I'm running tier three. I got clamp breaker, then quick first step, hyperdrive and needle threader. If I had more badge points, I would put on bailout, which all it does is if you're in a shot animation or a layup, this is just personal preference. If you find yourself passing out of layups or shots a lot, then put it on. But these are your four priority badges in my opinion. Or if you're a small guard, switch clamp breaker with handles for days and then quick first step, hyperdrive, needle threader. So these are the badges not to use unless you have extra badge points. I'll go from best to worst. Well, it'll be close. It'll, it's not going to be like an actual ranking, but you know, some of the best to some of the worst. So Dimer, uh, my teammates can usually hit shots. If you're playing with somebody with a low three pointer or they're not good at shooting, put it on. Same with floor general. If you're playing with bad teammates, put that on. If you're a smaller guard, mismatch expert. I actually don't have a lot of experience with that. I don't know a lot of comp players who use it. So I'm not going to give you an honest review. That's just a mid tier badge. We'll call it that post playmaker. Uh, no, don't use that special delivery. Catching lobs is already easy. Vice grip. If you're a big man, then yeah, you could put it on, you know, so you don't get ripped when you get a board. So I guess that's a must have badge if you're a big man and then break starter. Okay. I'm sorry about that. If you're a big man, break starter, definitely put on, especially if you play threes or pro-am huge, good, important badge for bigs. And lastly, the badge that absolutely sucks and does absolutely nothing. Trust me. I have tried it out tons of times. Ankle breaker. I don't know why you can't get ankle breaker animations this year and they are so rare when they happen and they aren't even that good. You can only get ankle breakers out of ankle breaking shots takeover. I respond to every comment on every video. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And if you haven't checked out my other content, you're missing out. Go ahead and do that. Hit that sub button, hit the like button. Have a good day. Go out. Bye.